Hi, welcome along to another video. Going to continue the conversation with Chat GPT, the AI learning tool machine bot thing. It's an interesting conversation from before. Going to touch on a couple of bits from that. So finished up last time asking, are there any programs active on Earth? That's geoengineering, solar radiation management, stratospheric aerosol injection. Are there any programs active on Earth? And uh, there was an error generating a response that was due to heavy traffic and stuff. So I clicked regenerate response. Keep in mind this has a cutoff point of around September 2021. So the response to the question, to the best of my knowledge, there are currently no large scale solar radiation management SRM programs actively in operation on Earth. SRM is a highly controversial topic and many scientists and policymakers remain skeptical about its potential efficacy and the potential negative consequences of large-scale deployment. While some laboratory experiments and small-scale field tests have been conducted to evaluate the feasibility of SRM methods, there is currently no programme that has been implemented at a global scale. It goes on to go on about the potential negative consequences and the need for more research. It's worth noting that the reason not so much has happened out in the field is because the public kick off about it and they get cancelled. So here we go. I, I replied with, Thanks. Earlier in our conversation, you mentioned the UK's Met Office has been conducting research for decades. Could you tell me which decades, please? The UK's Met Office has been conducting research on weather modification and climate science for several decades. The exact time frame is not specified, but the Met Office has been at the forefront of atmospheric research and climate modelling since its inception in the late 19th century. And let's just be clear, they're saying atmospheric research and modelling and not weather modification operations. It's important to define that. The Met Office has been a key contributor to our understanding of the Earth's climate system, etc, etc. Thanks. So is there any regulation, legislation in the UK for weather and or climate modification? In the UK, there is no specific legislation that governs weather or climate modification activities. The use of weather modification techniques, such as cloud seeding, is not widely practiced in the UK and there are no large-scale weather modification programs in operation. However, the Met Office does provide guidelines and best practices for the use of weather modification techniques and the use of these techniques is subject to the general regulatory framework for environmental protection and public safety. Additionally, the UK has signed and ratified the United Nations Convention on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space, etc. You know about that. In summary, while there is no specific legislation in the UK that governs weather modification, the use of these techniques is subject to existing environmental protection and public safety regulations, as well as international agreements on the peaceful use of outer space. So there are environmental impact reports, EIRs, and reports of activity such as the cloud seeding carried out by Oliver's Travels in London. In the UK, the use of weather modification techniques such as cloud seeding would typically require an Environmental Impact Assessment EIA, or an Environmental Impact Report EIR, to be carried out to ensure that the proposed activities will not have significant adverse impacts on the environment. As far as my knowledge goes, I am not aware of any specific case of cloud seeding carried out by Oliver's Travels in London. However, this type of activity would require the appropriate permits and environmental assessments to be in place before it could be carried out. 
in general, any weather modification activities in the UK would be subject to the relevant environmental protection regulations, including the requirement for an EIA or EIR, if necessary. This helps to ensure that such activities are carried out in a responsible and sustainable manner, and that any potential impacts on the environment are fully considered and addressed. Well, weather modification and sustainable can't really be used in the same sort of sentence, can it? Moving on, so in regards to the environmental impact reports, would that be at DEFRA or another government office? In the UK, the responsibility for environmental protection falls under the jurisdiction of DEFRA. Yeah, DEFRA is the primary department responsible for policy and regulations. Both DEFRA and the Environment Agency would be involved in the regulation of weather modification activities in the UK and would have a role in ensuring that such activities are carried out in accordance with relevant environmental protection legislation and regulations. They would also be responsible for assessing and enforcing environmental impact assessments and EIRs where required. So a bit more specific. Thanks. Is anyone trying to introduce standalone legislation specifically for weather and climate modification in the UK? As of my knowledge, cut off in 2021, there has not been any specific legislation introduced. Continuing the response, however, various government agencies, including DEFRA and the EA, have a role in regulating activities that have the potential to impact the environment, including weather modification activities. You're welcome, etc. Regarding Oliver's Travels, search Guardian newspaper, Blue Skies for Wedding Days, Oliver's Travels 2015. Can you find anything? I couldn't find any specific news article from the Guardian newspaper about Oliver's Travels and Blue Skies for Wedding Days in 2015. However, I did find information about a company called Oliver's Travel Limited which offers luxury travel services and experiences. It is possible that this company may have been mentioned in an article by The Guardian, but I cannot confirm that with certainty. I was kind of being semi-vague in what I asked. So I asked it, do you accept links? As an AI language model, I do not have the capability to view or access links. I can only provide information and answer questions based on the text I have been trained on. Cool, give me two minutes. Let's see if it accepts links, even though it doesn't want to. Might need them for future reference. I'm sorry, but as an AI language model, etc., I do not have the capability. So it goes on to give an explanation of cloud bursting, which it has garnered from the uh, link that I gave it. Cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I still do. I gave it <laughs> the link to the Guardian article. I'm sorry, but I still do not have the capability to access the link. However, based on the information provided, it seems that Oliver's Travels is a company that claims to offer a cloud seeding service for events such as weddings to ensure clear skies, the process of cloud seeding, etc. And that's where I left that one. The conversation will continue. Probably. <laughs> 